was turned to private instead of public. I think that's why nobody was on here. So I'm going to give it another minute if anybody shows up. I don't know. I suck at this. One of these days I'll get it right. I promise. This little kicker here. Highlight. Share. Mute microphone. Nope, we don't want to do any of those things. What's that button do? Oh wow, I can make myself look better. I don't know if that really helped or not. Let's remove the original one now. Oh, that's kind of cool. I'll go with that one. Yay. Okay, I gotta get that off. <laughs> Okay, that's cool. So that can close. Dismiss. Super chat members and super chat messages. Some messages such as potential spam. Hi! I'm reading. How are you doing? So uh, I was trying to go live and apparently I had it on private, which doesn't help anybody, especially myself. But here we are. So how's it going in your world? Oh, there's 12 people! Yay! <laughs> So just so you all know, Starlink is amazing and not. <laughs> uh, I was losing service on and off, but made some pretty funny videos there for a second. So that should be entertaining. We're starting a little late, even though I already did a whole video. <laughs> Apparently I had it on private. Hi, good to see you. Hello, hello. We are both doing great. We are doing fantastic. So anybody who doesn't catch this video, um, I just posted a live, um, which was all by my lonesome with nobody watching because I didn't realize that it was on private, not public, which I don't even know why that would be an option when you're going live. I think that's kind of the point, but whatever. I'm not new and I should know better, and I guess I don't. So <laughs> there's that. <laughs> anyway, I'll let a few more of you get on there. I think these things should stay up here. Yeah, let me see them all. So, how's everybody doing? What's everybody up to on this beautiful Sunday? I'm in the middle of the desert. I'm in Gold Canyon, Arizona. Just chilling out here. Uh, I've been doing commissions, trying to earn the doll hairs. Maybe I should show you guys. So, I'm just going to repeat what I put in this other video that I just posted, which is fine because then and then I can have all the all the views <laughs> so uh, yeah recently I decided to get Starlink I'll talk about that first so is it cold it is kind of cold it is well <laughs> it's 70 but I get cold at like 72 <laughs> yes commissions I've been doing commissions um, to pay off all my new goodies um, if I'm going southbound the CDT, Grizzlies. Yes, I know. Okay, we'll talk about, should we talk about the CDT first? Because I know that's what I, oh, I bet it's cold in Jersey. I know I started out being like, hey, CDT. So I have some plans that I'm, I'm hoping will um, help me be able to do the CDT this year. But I'm not sure. It's just all plans. It's scheming. Um, so my friend Alex, which you all have probably heard about if you've been following for a while, um, she was originally going to take Little Leaf for me while I hiked the CDT to get my triple crown. Well, she came down with stage 3 breast cancer and has been dealing with that the past couple years. Um, and I don't really trust Little Leaf with just anybody, especially because she has a different way of living than most goats. I couldn't just throw her in a field. I don't think she'd really know how to handle that. <laughs> so uh, anyway, Alex was willing to let her be a house dog, just like she's used to. And um, But she's got so much on her plate that I... I just felt it wasn't right. So she's consistently insisted on that it be fine, but I'm not comfortable with that. But I am going to be heading to her place in a couple weeks. I'm going to go see my daughter in California and then um, up to stay with her for a while. And around the corner from her house, there is a goat farmer. And I'm thinking I will purchase a couple more goats, two to be exact. Um, and I'm going to stay with her for a couple months and see if I can't acclimate little leaf to herd life if she could bond with these other goats not be just so attached to me if that doesn't work then um alex and i have a second plan of where 
I'll go do my hike, but through Glacier and the Rockies and the places where I wouldn't want to take the leaf, mainly because she's not allowed, um, and there's grizzlies, I'm not going to hike with an hors d'oeuvre. Um, plus, I just don't think it would be as fun. I think it would be funner not to have her, to be honest. I want her definitely to hike with me on certain parts of it, but she couldn't do the miles and stuff that I'd really need to do to be realistic. So I'm going to need help with her. Um, but what our other plan was is kind of like, you know, I'll start one day with them and then I'll, I'll go do my hike and they'll meet me, you know, 20 miles or 30 miles down the way and we're all camp with the goat. And then I'll leave the next morning, same thing, kind of like um, some people get supported through hikes. I'll just have supported goat hikes. <laughs> so that was one of the ideas. And if that all falls to crud, the, the last and final plan I thought would be really cool was to pick up my goat across America thing because um, obviously we had a scare there and I threw in the towel because her life was a little bit more important to me than trying to finish some hike and I had already intended anyway on doing that in chunks and not hiking through this, the winter. She wouldn't have been good in the winter anyway. Um, we were just going to hunker down somewhere and then pick up in the spring but since she got sick and, and it was kind of rough she wouldn't hike during any rain or anything. I have the idea of getting like this bike that has the bucket in the front where she they could all she could be loaded in there and um, as a pop up and yeah do bike across America why not we're gonna be hiking across America three times I could I could walk it one, or bike it once could mix it up a bit so yeah if we can't figure that out then that's gonna be the other idea so anyway uh, any other questions about the CDT? Might need some support down in Arizona if I do take her um, with me through um, New Mexico. I mean, um, in those long water carries, I don't know that I could carry enough water for her and die if I let her pick up with me once we get out of the grizzly area and all that. But I definitely want her to do some areas with me. How about across America with the gypsy wagon? Oh, I've already done that so many times. <laughs> Uh, that's kind of a, a lot of our videos. I know my videos have been really boring lately, you guys. I'm so sorry, but during that, the last few months while I was doing trips with Little Leaf, she had so many different health issues that we were trying to pinpoint what was going on. Um, I did a really crummy job at videoing a lot of my little excursions with her. Um, to where I'm going back right now editing these things and putting them together and I'm just, it's painful. I'm like, but I want to post them because it's something and it is my video journal. So I want them up there, you know, so I have them too to reference just for myself. Um, but regardless, uh, they get better. It turns out a few different health issues with Little Leaf in the Adirondacks. Um, I haven't spent any time in the Adirondacks, uh, but I have a friend that's been inviting me. He has a flower... Um, a flower garden that he grows flowers for big cities and it's like this huge spot and he's like come hang out on my flower farm in the Adirondacks so but it's too cold right now so I'll wait till it's warmer and I'll definitely get up there so I do want to do the Adirondacks I haven't yet though um but anyway uh little leaf little health issues she went through, through three different things so does are, are have a tendency of getting the bladder infections she had gotten the bladder infection on trail that's why we stopped that last hike which had turned into a kidney infection, which is obviously way more serious. Herd animals hide when they're sick, otherwise they get pushed out. So I didn't know she was sick till she was really sick. And then I just kind of threw in the towel and then she ended up bleeding again, which ended up being kidney stones. And then furthermore, she bled a third time and it turns out that she just has extreme heat. So most goats don't bleed during heat, like none. It's really, really rare. And everything you Google is if your goat bleeds, it's an emergency. So here I'm freaking out left and right. Um, come to find out, goats are prone to having bladder infections. She's prone to having kidney stones. And on top of it, she's super rare and has um, extreme heats where she bleeds. So we went through ultrasound, scoping, all of the things. It was kind of ridiculous. So my mind was literally on her. And then my Jeep's been breaking down. I've done all kinds of crazy things with the Jeep. Um, yeah, I, I'm excited to hike through Yellowstone. I'm jumping back and forth the comments here. Uh, <laughs> yeah I definitely I, I enjoyed Yellowstone I've been there a few times but I've avoided the areas that will be hiked through like I went and did trail magic for um, horse and uh, Ivy Tat while they were doing their triple crowns horse actually is in Arizona right now he's hitting the AZT 
and I saw Bambi not long ago. She bought a house. She's going to be a foster mom. She bought this huge, beautiful house just so she could foster children. I think it's kick-ass. She bought one of my paintings. So um, video of spending time with her is coming up. Also, I have a video coming up. I think it's not tomorrow, but the next day. Um, and I know they're all a little delayed, but I had no internet. Now I have Starlink. Um, before backtracking, sorry, uh, it's the Germans, by the way, that I'm about to talk about. Um, but before with, with, uh, you know, anything hiking on foot, I could go into a Starbucks or a hostel or wherever, and we could use the internet. But with Little Leaf right now and snowboarding, I can't leave her in the car in the heat to go into Starbucks or a library to use the internet. And I can't park close enough with my trailer and Jeep at most places that have free internet in order to sit there for all, a day to upload a video. So I, I really found that I was kind of cornering myself. I had no way to upload all these videos. So I hustled really quick and begged a bunch of you for commission jobs <laughs> so I could earn some money to get Starlink. So I have Starlink now and it's been great. Unfortunately though, I'm in an area and I've just learned that um, when you're in an area where there's a lot of other people with Starlink, um, it legs. So I have been trying for a day and a half now to upload a video that I was thinking I was gonna post today, but because I have this live and stuff, I'm just gonna post it tomorrow. Um, so Starlink has been awesome and this will help me do like lives and all kinds of stuff. The CDT does go through Glacier. So, um, and I'm excited for that. I've, I've not visited Glacier at all because Ivy Tat told me it was one of the most beautiful parks he's ever seen. And I have seen some photos, but I don't want to spoil it. I want my through hike in Glacier to be my first experience at Glacier. I have been to Yellowstone, but I've avoided certain areas because I know the trail goes through there. Um, and hiking some places way different than visiting it like a park. I think um, you're sleeping in it, you're exploring the back country of it, and that's just a whole different level. So, um, yeah, but I haven't been to Glacier yet, and then that's going to be an epic way to start it. I want to go Sobo for sure because I want to hit the bloom. I know everybody's like, you should go Nobo, so all three of your hikes are all Nobo, but um, with this trail in particular, <laughs> I want to go. I want to go Sobo. Abby Tad is going to what? These things like don't stay on here long enough. I wish I was a faster reader. <laughs> You know, if I don't answer your question, post it again. <laughs> does the CDT go through the Rocky Mountain National Park? Yes, it does. But that section is so short. It's like literally I could do it in probably like a day. So, um, yeah. Yeah, some of it looked like Lord of the Rings. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so I have Starlink now. So I can upload my videos with my goat. I know a lot of you are, are more on here for my hiking and I promise there's more of it to come. Um, I've just been dealing with my goat. I decided to be a goat mom so she had to come first and uh, my CDT is still happening. I have to tell you guys a really heart like hurting story. No, Ivy Tat is not going to go Sobo with me. I think Ivy Tat's kind of mad at me. Oops. Yeah, um, he wanted to come, like, live with me in my gypsy wagon and, um, and, uh, everything after he did the, the Scotland hike. And, uh, I just, I just was like, you know, I wanted him to come with me and I told him he could, uh, but in his own rig. I was like, there's just not space for another person. And he was so irritated all the time by Little Leaf that I'm like, how are you going to live in this little wagon with us in... And the goat so uh, I told him you're welcome but you have to have your own rig and he didn't want to do that so uh, he hasn't talked to me since I don't know I mean I can only do what I can do and uh, I have nothing negative to say about him that's his prerogative if you will um, but yeah I mean I, ha I have to <laughs> have to be honest I was just being honest so uh, anyway um, Ah, thank you. Everything is a work in progress. I know. We've got so many things. Oh, I have to tell you guys about my kid book. Oh, wait. What should we talk about first? Do you want to hear about the kid books I've been creating and see those for Little Leaf? I've decided to go with kid books first just to learn the publishing process. Um, or do you want to hear about the heartfelt story of one of my fans in the family that I met that will probably make you cry? 
Okay, go. Which one? Books or crying? <laughs> Kids books or crying? What do you want to hear about? Because I have two stories to tell you. Um, and then I have some cool stuff about my patient. Okay. Cry story, baby comes first, books, fans and books, cactus. What? <laughs> uh, cry, that's a shame, crying. Okay, I'm going to tell you guys, I got more votes for the cry story. I had this fan reach out to me and uh, sometimes I feel like, I, I mean, I know I have a decent following on here, but compared to like Dixie and those guys, I'm like, I'm small potatoes. Most people don't subscribe. I think they just watch and kind of, you know, pass by. But uh, I love you guys who have subscribed and thank you um, for subscribing. But this gentleman had reached out to me um, telling me that he was one of my biggest fans and it kind of weirded me out. I'll be honest at first, I wasn't sure what to make of it. And as time went on, um, I was on a podcast, um, the John Freaking Mirror podcast, which was really fun. And uh, then a, a short time after that, this gentleman was also on that podcast. And, and they contacted me asking me if I could surprise him because apparently I was his inspiration. And he had planned on being the first um, amputee to finish the PCT. So uh, he had had a really hard life, apparently a couple of near-death experiences. He lost his leg to frostbite, like all kinds of crazy, like just drama and he he had given up on life and um his claim was that i was the reason he didn't and that he learned to walk again and all of this stuff and i want to be honest i really didn't believe that this guy just decided to live again um i really totally believed it <laughs> and uh anyway did this podcast he ended up they, they contact me. I agreed to be a surprise guest on his interview on this podcast and uh, uh, ended up exchange, letting me have my phone number. And he messaged me and he sent me a letter in the mail with a grape soda pin from the movie Up. You know, the adventure buddy. He pins it, the little girl pins it on the boy. And he had one also. And uh, he kept talking and asking me questions about, you know, gear and stuff for revving up for his PCT hike. He was going to do it. He made a list of five things he wanted to do. And um, the last two things were hike the PCT and meet me in person. And I didn't know about this list initially. Uh, well, anyway, after the podcast, he messaged me and asked if he could have one of my stickers. And I had just left Trail Days. I had made a whole bunch of holographic stickers for to hand out at Trail Days and had one left. And he's like, could I have one for my prosthetic? And I was sure. So I mailed it out the next day. And then the day after that, I got all these messages from his family saying he'd had a stroke. And... Um, that it wasn't looking good and this and that and days went on he actually ended up declining well he passed and uh then his family shared with me his wish list of wanting to um meet me and uh i wanted to go to the funeral but i was on the other side of the country it just wasn't going to work out and i was juggling things with little leaf so i promised them that i would come pay my respects and find his grave or whatever and um this summer i did and i showed up and his whole family was there this town was tiny it's ovet mississippi and i didn't know everybody knew who i was so by the time i drove into town i went to this little grocery store the only store the only thing in this town and asked where this graveyard was in church because it google wasn't pulling it up and uh, this little gal behind the counter told me so i drove out there it was only three miles away and uh, I show up and there's all these people there. They had like word had spread in like the two minutes it took me to get there that I was in town and his whole family was there. Anyway, um, I'm gonna try not to, t to cry telling this story. I met his mom, his dad, all of these people that just like idolized him. He was, in, they called him the mayor in town apparently. And he truly did talk about me like every day. The night before he had his stroke, he apparently made his dad binge watch me <laughs> and uh, all of this stuff they buried him with my sticker on his on his um his prosthetic this is all going back to the cdt by the way um and uh his family also asked me to design his tombstone so i just completed that and mailed it off to them which was what an honor i mean i don't even know i mean it just it still doesn't seem real it's very humbling to me i i, I just i can't believe that i could ever have affected somebody like that um but anyway, uh, they buried him with the grape soda pin, the other one. And uh, I promised his family that all my CDT, on my CDT hike, I'm going to wear the grape soda pin um, so he can get his through hike and, and take his spirit with me on that pin. So, okay.
okay so there's the <laughs> there's a sad cry story but um so i've just decided with youtube even though i don't make a ton of money off of it, it's very time consuming to make the videos and sometimes my videos suck um if i reach just a couple people and make i mean they're like a whole new family to me now and it's so it's it's just it's amazing and his family told me that i made his life better in a time where he was ready to give up and to me that's just <laughs> i can't even so um yeah, so don't mind my crummy little videos in between some of the more fun ones. And for you that are usually here for just the hiking, and I, like I'm saying, trying to plot and plan for the CDT hike. Um, but anyway, so there's the sad story. Now I'm going to tell you about Little Leaf's kids books. So I decided to start with kids books because then I can learn the publishing thing. And I'm illustrating and writing them. And the writing part's easy because um, they're all our stories. Um, so the first book I finished and, and then I decided because I talked to a friend of mine who's really into like Marvel and DC that I wanted to do it differently. So not making a second one, <laughs> but, uh, I'm illustrating them. Here's me being introduced in the first book as feathers because I love feathers and I slam open the door and there's feathers everywhere. But this, the first book that I was originally going to just publish as the first book is basically how we met and came to be together, Little Leaf and I. And it's fun and cute and all, but my buddy was like, well, think about Yellowstone. They tell their, the, the great story that hooks you, and then they give the prequel of like how you guys came to be. They come with the good story. So I was like, oh, that's a way better idea. So I'm going to sell two books as a pack deal for our first um, release. And it's going to be a series. So all of our different adventures will have a book to, of its own. So the first book is the when we met and then I'm going to also release book one with book 23. So I picked 23 which is our 23rd adventure and it's called When Goats Fly and Little Leaf and I just went on a on a flight. I took her on a 180 Cessna and she freaking loved it. She loves being up high so she was like at the window. She didn't want to get out of the plane. It's hilarious. So anyway I'll show you some of my drawings. So this whole book is going to be about Little Leaf in flying we have a hot air balloon ride land, lined up um and these have a lot of comedy and stuff in them i don't want to spoil it too much but like she talks about going to space and trying to eat her raisins in space <laughs> and some of these are pretty rough like artwork so far this, this whole book's about flight so like we went to the Wright Brothers Museum and I'll have like about that I have about the first pig that flew and uh Peter Pan flying Little Leaf as Peter Pan and some of her happy thoughts but uh yeah these have been really fun and I've been working really hard on these illustrations and, and creating this book I've been working on well the first one took me about a month because I, I had to get the um, specs of how I wanted it to be which think Bernst and Bear books paperback 8x8 eight eight. then I went and bought this I charged it <laughs> this is a Whatcom art table so I, I am missing a link in the chain here though I need to get a scanner so I can scan these in because they're all just black and white um, art right now and then I'm going to use this to like do really good solid coloring and make it really professional. So graphic art them. And then I have my internet now so I can do my, you know, connecting with publishers. And I had two publishers on the line, but they wanted way too much. They wanted like 65%. So yes, Little Leaf and a kite, all kinds of things. Um, so that's the book thing. Uh, my buddy Sully just showed up. He doesn't know I'm doing a live, so my yeah. get it interrupted here for a second I'm on a live just so that you know okay <laughs> anyway so much activity going on right now all right so does anybody else have any other questions what else was I going to talk about my patreon okay I've got like nine patrons but or patrons on there but um patreon is a, a site that I have going and some of you may know what this is but because YouTube isn't really paying much I make like 40 bucks a month off of YouTube because they've got it to the point where only you only make money if the ads are watched um but it's more than that for me nowadays so i'm still doing it but i have a patreon account where you could subscribe and i'm going to try to up my patreon game i still do like a an annual package for my subscribers where they get things like a hoof print of little leaves or stickers or my artwork little watercolors postcards all kind of stuff but i feel like that's just kind of cheesy and i haven't really done much on there so 
I have a lot of people requesting different things and one of the things people want to do or want me to do is like time lapse my art like painting and stuff or my commissions maybe the ones that people approve I should tell you some of my, my artwork I will in a minute um but um I'm always so nervous to let people watch me do art for some reason. So someone, one of my friends suggested doing Crunk with Kate, <laughs> where I drink and paint. And I'm like, I don't know if that goes good with a kid's book, but it only takes like a glass and half a line before I get giggly and goofy. So maybe it would be entertaining, but you'll only be able to watch those on Patreon and I'll try it out. We'll see what happens. Could be a disaster. Otherwise, maybe I'll do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, like four days, each day be different. So and uh, maybe like Wednesday, I'll do giveaways because they're wanting me to test their stuff and then do reviews. Well, I'll test them, but I'll give them away on on my Patreon and review them on my Patreon because I feel like adding more ads to my YouTube would just suck for everybody. Um, if Jack Black can do it, anybody can do it. Yeah. Does he paint drunk? <laughs> uh, so bad. I don't even know. Okay. Uh, I've joked about even selling pictures of my feet just to keep my head above water, but I, apparently that's 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 a whole different ball game. I didn't even realize it consisted of, and I don't think I'm into that. Maybe the drinking and painting. <laughs> What's my favorite color? My favorite color is purple. Oh, also, I'm getting rid of my website. I I um, have had a website, an art website, and I, maybe I'll switch to Etsy or something. But it's like 400 bucks a month, so I'm gonna drop that. And I'm also getting rid of my PO box. It went up 70 bucks last year and this year it's going up another 70 bucks so it went from like 80 bucks a year to 117 to now 200 and something and I'm just like that's silly I don't get enough mail so if you go into my descriptions to mail me anything snail mail it's not exist anymore I'm not gonna keep that so don't mail me anything uh, if you want to mail me something email me first to find out where maybe to send it if it's gonna be really important or awesome um, because yeah, my mom just let me know that she's been getting my mail while I've been on the road for the past four months now. Um, that I haven't really got much anyway, so why pay for it? So, yeah, so those are some things. Okay, uh, I think I covered everything I really wanted to talk about. So if anybody else has questions and stuff, go ahead and hit me with those now. Otherwise, I could show you some of my art, some of my commissions. One of them probably shouldn't show you all of it but it's actually my favorite right now I love commissions of all different um, flavors let's say so um, it keeps it interesting and I don't get burnt out I have painted about a million and a half dogs I'm pretty sure at this point so it's always fun when I get something else and if you have something you want done I won't lie like I, I can't spell worth a damn because of my dyslexia but I can pretty much recreate anything so a lot of people will find artwork that they want a copy of or you know to buy but it's by a really famous artist so of course it's out of most people's league so what they do is they come to me and i know don't judge me but i gotta eat too so i re create some of these famous paintings or famous artists paintings so this is one how fun is this <laughs> so simple but this is a i do do portraits i'll show you one in a moment that i've been working on um so this is this is a commission which i had a blast doing this one's still in the process this is a beautiful mermaid and she looks kind of alien green right now because paintings take layers if you know anything about art so this has a long way to go this is just the, the pre-stages so that's a painting one's watercolor also i told you i do about a million dogs so here's a dog commission i'm working on i only have the tongue done but Look how nice that tongue is. Yeah. Oh, if the lighting will go nice. <laughs> so that'll be a dog eventually. Oh, and this one I have to kind of censor. But here's a portrait that I'm working on. Uh, leaning it that way makes it real golf squished. But uh, yes, this has been one of my favorites right now. I can't show you that whole piece. Uh, it's a little rated R. Um, but I love doing like, this is a couple that is married that asked me to do so they the husband's a photographer and it's gorgeous and he's a great photographer so i get to look at all these different pictures of form of her like posing and it's so fun for me and they kind of have given me free range so i'm having a blast with that but i do uh face portraits too um if you go to my website katecloudart.com i've done i have a few on there i need to update it but that's one of the reasons i'm getting rid of it 
I'm bad at updating it, but I've done like a Frank Sinatra. There's a whole bunch on there. Um, pencil and charcoal are my like strong point. Um, but I can paint. The watercolor I'm getting better at, uh, but oils is not something I do. I don't have the space in here. Someday if I ever have a house <laughs> with a studio, I will love to get into oils. But for right now, I just don't have that set up. But okay, ask me questions. I just saw some um, comments flash across the screen, but they're going so fast and I was yapping. So if you have a comment, go ahead and throw it in there again uh, or a question because I missed it. Um, but anyway, so yeah, so I've been working on these kids books. I have a ton of art for those. Um, if he wasn't hiking, I, I might do the AT over again. Drop the link to my website. Okay. I'll put it in there. It's katecloudart.com. It's pretty easy. If you can remember that CDT, we got new people, new people. So I am heading to Oregon to spend a couple months to try to acclimate Little Leaf to a herd of goats. So that might potentially give me the opportunity to go hike the trail Sobo this summer. Um, if that doesn't work to bond with them, my where like I'll hike a, a section during the day and she'll have the goat with like, you know, hop the trail that way through Glacier and the, the bear country and where she's not allowed. So I'm gonna try to make it happen because I'm getting really antsy now and I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready for some true trail life. Um, I love my goat, but I need to have my life experiences as well. I just wanna make sure she's taken care of before I go run off and, and do any of those things. And my friend Alex is pretty much the only person I trust to leave her with at this point that I know will let her continue to live like she has been, like a, a, a dog, <laughs> a house dog. So, um, yeah, there's that. My friend Andy has offered to help, like, kind of hopscotch, too, with Alex to get me through Iglis Glacier, which isn't a huge chunk. So I think it's only 100 miles or 200 miles or something like that. So a couple weeks, you know, and then um, maybe I'll take her with me through the New Mexico and lower areas. And you guys will have to, like, help. Uh, do some water caches for me because I will not be able to carry water for both Little Leaf and I in those lower states. But I want to go Sobo to hit the um, the blooms. And I just, I'm really not wanting to hike through snow again after my ending on the PCT. That scared the hell out of me. <laughs> I was scary by myself. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm hoping so. So, I think I might have a plan so that I can do this. And I have a, my buddy Sully, he's a new hiker, but um, I've been um, caravanning with him. I met him at Schoolie Palooza. He'll get introduced in a few videos here um, that I'll be posting. Um, but he's an avid hiker, mostly climber, but he's interested in doing a trail. So maybe he'll go with me if he can get the funds to do it. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But um, we're working on all of those things. Trying, trying. <laughs> Little by little, kids book, Starlink, internet, yay. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, so uh, anyway, yeah, I think that might be all I have to say right now. I was thinking about something else and then I forgot, so that's not very helpful. But um, yeah, if you guys have any, put your link to Patreon. Okay, I will. I will put my link to Patreon. Oh, I wonder if that is in my description. I don't think it is. Well, I'll put it in the description at the end of this video. Um, the Jeep is not good. So I am literally in <laughs> Gold Canyon. Keith knew. <laughs> Some of you know. Uh, I'm broken down right now. Uh, I'm in the middle of Gold Canyon in Arizona. I've been here for a while and I just I didn't want to stress it any more than everything else because I've been trying to do these books since I've been posted anyway. But yeah, um, my Jeep has had a lot of issues in the past uh, few months and I've replaced pretty much everything I feel like at this point. I just replaced my battery and I'm throwing power issues. And I tried testing through some ideas. My dad had the alternator and battery. The battery's brand new. It's like three weeks old. Um, thank you, Keith. Um, and it seems like it's good and it looks like... down to see ashes from the PCT. He has a homestead out in Tombstone and um, a, the bush 
linkage in my transfer case popped out and I was in a parking lot so I crawled under there and I tried to shove it in and uh, I might have shorted a wire or I have a power leak somewhere I don't know so I now that I know I have like a power short somewhere I got to try to find it so I got to go through my dad told me how to test all my fuses and I'm gonna try to do that tomorrow if it doesn't rain I don't know it's just been a nightmare uh, trying to get my goat in my Jeep <laughs> situated <laughs> so uh, anyway but it's good it'll work itself out and every time something like this happens I learn something new about my Jeep so that makes me happy I learn I learn something new but uh, Gosh, there was one other thing I wanted to tell you guys about, and I can't think of what it was, and it's driving me nuts. Uh, me, uh, oh, um, I don't know. I guess it's gone. This is what happens when you get old, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, somebody's having fun with the four-wheeler out here. But yeah, I'm, I'm just chilling out here. So if any of you guys are mechanics, and you're in Gold Canyon, Arizona, <laughs> by Phoenix, you can come play with my Jeep if you want. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm going to try to get out of here in a couple of days and start heading towards Alex's in Oregon um, with the whole plan with the goats and all the things. So uh, yeah, I kind of stalled out not only because of the Jeep um, and worrying about it because um, the snow has been kind of crazy up up on that side. So not really trying to go hang out in freezing temperatures. I don't have to. So anyway, all right. Well, I think uh, if that's it. Um, nomadic movement had Jeep issues the video that was the other thing so the video I posted of like fixing my Jeep that was a whole lot of other things that was a transmission catalytic converter uh, tr trans coolant lines I had a leak in my front differential I had someone torqued my plug on my oil pan so they had to pull that off and drill it out um, I had a bad O2 sensor when they thought it was the the catalytic converter so I had gotten all these parts which took forever because you can't get anything right now and then couldn't get a mechanic to work on it so my friend helped me and I ended up helping him so I learned a lot but um yeah it was a pain it was a pain so my, my jeep just keeps breaking down and I'm breaking down again <laughs> so uh that's the only reason I knew what a, the bush linkage was in the transfer case and where it was but I know all of the parts now <laughs> I'm learning fast uh, I just don't know how to really fix them all yet so, uh, yeah, there's that, but, um, it's okay. It'll be fine. We're doing great. It's going to be great. <laughs> and Horse is here somewhere in Arizona. He, he's going to start the AZT, I believe. Uh, he was trying to catch me. So maybe I'll see him in a couple days. Um, I've been trying for a day and a half to upload a video for today, but we got this one. So you guys will be fine. It'll come out tomorrow, but my Starlink, there's too many people around here with Starlink, so it's being slow. It's taking a day and a half, and I got it 64%, so it's hopefully, yeah. Switch the Jeep to Toyota. You know, my first car was a Toyota, and that thing ran for freaking ever. Like, it never died. It just never died. I'd be surprised if it's still running. But yeah, Toyotas, those little things are gangsta. I little little stick. <laughs> it was fast buzzed all over the place used to pile a whole bunch of boys in there to go up snowboarding because no girls would snowboard with me but uh good memories good memories <laughs> i think someone asked like four different times what my favorite color was my favorite color is purple did i did you guys catch that whoever was asking <laughs> all right so uh i just had posted a video alive before this one that didn't post and no one could see me apparently because it was on private, which I don't understand why they put that setting on a live. If no one can watch it, why would you even do it? <laughs> so I started this one a little late, but uh, I'll be better at this now that I have internet. Yeah. And my Patreon, um, I really don't even know what the title of that is, but all the links will be to my Patreon and all that fun jazz. If you guys want to watch me paint drunk <laughs> every Monday on Patreon now, uh, you can join my Patreon and you'll get an annual package of art and stickers and things. Um, I'm not going to get like fall down drunk though, guys. I'm just a lightweight and I hate people watching me paint. So a friend suggested that I just have a glass of wine or two or three while I paint and that it'd probably be really entertaining because all my friends love me when I drink. <laughs> apparently I'm really funny. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I may make an ass of myself. We'll see what happens. And the art could really suck. But then I'll maybe auction off that art or give it away or whatever. 
and then uh yeah so i'm gonna start upping my patreon game because youtube just isn't paying very much anymore i get like 40 bucks a month if that and i've got almost 18,000 subscribers so it's not about the people but please subscribe because it does help and uh then i can brag <laughs> I used to compete with Ivy Tad about who had more subscribers. He's probably past me now. I haven't really looked in a while because I haven't had internet. But anyway, I'm rambling, so I probably should just get off of here. So if anybody has anything else to say, say it now because I'm leaving. And uh, I hope you all have a wonderful night. And next time, I'll schedule another one today. And so if you have any more questions, do you know the bread tucker? The bread tucker. What the heck's the bread tucker? Now I don't know what the bread tucker is. The gentleman who passed that was the fan, his name was Tucker, by the way, Phil Tucker. Um, and you can find his podcast on the John Frickin' Mirror podcast. And I did a little guest appearance on there. But if you want to see who that gentleman was, he's an interesting cat. I like, and his family has been amazing. They are like my adopted family now. I have an extra one. Everybody needs an extra family. You just never know. Uh, he's out in Arizona, has connections, and can help fix my Jeep. Oh, Bread Tucker. All these Tuckers. Tuckers are amazing people, apparently. Uh, I don't know. Is he like a YouTuber or what? Brake Master in Apache Junction. On his place for repairs. Well, if I can make it there. Yeah, I'm going to try to head out here in a, in a couple days. So, regard, I, I got it running, um, but it doesn't always want to start. And then it. My co I have a code reader and it's telling me that it could potentially shut off while driving, which doesn't sound fun. So um, hopefully I could get, get there. Trucker, not Tucker. Oh, <laughs> thanks. Oh, he's a YouTuber. Oh, okay. Gotta be cool then. <laughs> All right, y'all. Well, have a good evening. I'm going to call it good and eat some dinner. But uh, and get back to my artwork. If you want a commission... I've got an email address down in the description. You can hit me up and uh, I'll do all of the things. Okay. Bye.